this is Bindu Prabha Sahu. Welcome to SNEPS Biology. Today's topic of discussion is difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell. Difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell. Let's first know what is prokaryotes and what are prokaryotes and what are eukaryotes. Clear? Pro means primitive or false or pseudo or incipient. Whereas karyote come from the word karyon which means that nucleus. Clear? So the cell which has primitive nucleus is called as prokaryotic cell. So what is a primitive nucleus? The nucleus which is present as a single circular, single circular double stranded DNA lacking histone protein where histone protein is not present is called as a primitive nucleus. Clear? So the cell which contains primitive nucleus is called as prokaryotic cell and the organism is known as the prokaryotic organism or prokaryote. Clear? Now, what is eukaryote? Eu means true and karyon means what? Nucleus. True or well organized. So the cell or the organism which have true nucleus are called eukaryotic organisms or eukaryotes. Clear? So what is a true nucleus? The nucleus which has nuclear membrane, nuclear membrane, nucleoplasm, nucleolus and chromatin network. And chromatin network is called as a true nucleus. Clear? So, the organism which has true nucleus in which the nucleus consists of these structures are called as eukaryotic organisms or you, the cell which contains true nucleus is called as eukaryotic cell. So, now let's differentiate between the eukaryotes and prokaryotes. The first point of difference is the definition. So, the definition of prokaryotic cell is that it consists of primitive nucleus. It contains primitive nucleus. Whereas, the definition of eukaryotic cell is that it contains true nucleus or well organized nucleus. Clear? Now, Come to the second point. The second point is regarding their size, cell size. Usually the prokaryotic cells are smaller in size. So, these are smaller in size and the diameter, the diameter, average diameter, the average diameter is generally 0.1 micron to 0.5 micron. Whereas in case of eukaryotic cell they are larger in size they are larger in size and the average diameter is usually greater than 0.5 micron clear now come to the third point the third point is regarding their cell wall clear we all know that plant cells contain cell wall but cell wall is absent in case of animal cell so if cell wall is present cell wall if present in case of eukaryotic cell it consists of it consists of peptidoglycan peptidoglycan or murine or mucopeptide clear but in eukaryotic cell if cell wall is pre present consists of cellulose hemicellulose etc. Clear? Now come to the 
फोर्थ पॉइंट द फोर्थ पॉइंट इज रिगार्डिंग दर सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो कंसिडरिंग द सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्रोक्यूरेटिक सेल्स आर सिंगल मेम्ब्रेन टाइप वाई बिकॉज द लैक एनी मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड ऑर्गेनाइज क्लियर द लैक मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड ऑर्गेनाइज दस सिंगल मेम्ब्रेन टाइप सिंगल मेम्ब्रेन टाइप वेर एज इन केस ऑफ यू कैरेटिक सेल द सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज डबल मेम्ब्रेन टाइप डबल मेम्ब्रेन टाइप वाई डबल मेम्ब्रेन टाइप बिकॉज ऑल द सेल ऑर्गेनाइज कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेल मेम्ब्रेन क्लियर सेल ऑर्गेनाइज हाफ सेल मेम्ब्रेन नाउ द फिफ्थ पॉइंट इज रिगार्डिंग देयर डेवलपमेंट सो डेवलपमेंटली प्रो कैरेटिक सेल्स आर प्रिमेटिव वेर एज द यू कैरेटिक सेल्स आर एडवांस्ड सो दीज आर डेवलपमेंटली प्रिमेटिव वेर एज दीज आर डेवलपमेंटली advanced so the sixth point of difference is regarding the presence of sterol presence of sterol or absence of sterol in the cell membrane so if sterol are present in the cell membrane the cell is capable of cellular respiration but in case of prokaryotic cell the cell membrane lacks sterol the cell membrane lacks sterol but perform cellular respiration in case of eukaryotic cell the cell membrane contains sterol contains sterol but doesn't perform cellular respiration clear so if eukaryotic cell is not performing cellular respiration what what kind of respiration it is performing it is performing aerobic or anaerobic respiration clear now come to the seventh point of differentiation the seventh point of differentiation is regarding the protoplasm so what is protoplasm protoplasm is the living part of the cell which contains cytoplasm nucleus and various cell organelles so protoplasm is rigid in consistency rigid in consistency clear it is non vacuolated generally it is non vacuolated that is there is absence of vacuole in normal condition clear and it is relatively relatively resistant resistant to osmotic shock desiccation and thermal denaturation clear in case of prokaryotic cell the protoplasm is generally rigid in consistency generally non vacuolated it is relatively resistant to these conditions osmotic shock desiccation and thermal denaturation clear now considering the eukaryotic cell the protoplasm is generally fluid like in consistency fluid like in consistency clear it is non vacuolated but in case of eukaryotic cell it is vacuolated presence of vacuole it is relatively resistant to 
osmotic shock desiccation and thermal denaturation but in case of eukaryotic cell it is sensitive sensitive to these conditions clear come to the eighth point the eighth point is regarding cyclosis what is like cyclosis cyclosis is the streaming movement of cytoplasm clear in case of prokaryotic cell the cyclosis or the streaming movement streaming movement of cytoplasm is absent but in case of eukaryotic cell the cyclosis process is present now come to the ninth point the ninth point is regarding the ribosomes in case of prokaryotic cell the ribosomes are 70s type clear the 70s means there are two sub units of ribosome smaller and larger the smaller sub unit is of 30s type and the larger is of 50s type clear and they usually occur in polysome form so what is polysome form polysome form means one mrna is present there is a mrna strand and there are several ribosomes attached to it several ribosomes clear like this this is an example of polysome clear but in case of eukaryotic cell the ribosomes are 70s type 70s type in case of only mitochondria and chloroplast but in cytoplasm it is 80s type 80s type in cytoplasm so 80s type has all uh, also two sub units smaller and larger the smaller is 40s and the larger is 60 is clear these ribosomes generally occur in monosome form monosome form so what is monosome form there is a single strand of rna consist of only one ribosome like this clear it is bound ribosome and free ribosome so only a ribosome occurring uh, freely in the cytoplasm clear now come to the 10th point of difference the 10th point of difference is regarding the genetic material clear so in case of prokaryotic cell the genetic material is present as a single circular double stranded dna lacking histone protein lacking histone protein but in case of eukaryotic cell the dna are arranged in linear pair or only linearly arranged clear they contain histone protein now come to the 11th point of differentiation it is regarding the mrna so in case of prokaryotic cell the mrna is polycystronic but in case of eukaryotic cell the mrna is monocystronic so what is polycystronic mrna and what is monocystronic mrna it is a type of mrna which can encode one polypeptide sorry sorry which can encode many polypeptide in a single mrna clear but in case of monocystronic mrna it can code for only one peptide one polypeptide in a single mrna clear now come to the 
12th point of difference it is regarding the locomotory organelles in case of prokaryotes the locomotory organelles are monofibrillar or monofibrid they are generally simple in structure simple in structure with flagellin protein remember the name of the protein that is flagellin protein and they usually perform rotatory or or corkscrew motion clear so locomotory organelles are monofibrillar simple in structure with flagellin protein they perform rotatory or corkscrew motion in case of eukaryotic cell the locomotory organelles are generally multifibrillar multifibrillar clear they are complex in structure complex in structure with 9 plus 2 arrangement this is a special type of arrangement which we will study later so this so 9 plus 2 arrangement arrangement in case of prokaryote what is the protein flagellin protein but in case of eukaryotic cell there is the presence of tubulin protein clear now consider the motion here the motion is rotatory or corkscrew like but in case of eukaryotic cell the motion is wavy or undulatory clear now come to the 13th point of difference it is regarding the cell division so in case of prokaryotic cell the cell division is amitotic amitotic cell division takes place in case of prokaryotic cell why because there is absence of spindle apparatus there is no spindle apparatus there is no spindle apparatus that's why they perform a mitotic cell division whereas in case of eukaryotic cell they perform mitosis due to presence of due to presence of spindle apparatus clear now the 14th point of difference we can give some examples the examples of prokaryotic cells are we all know that cyanobacteria or which which we call as bga or blue green algae clear then mycoplasma these are some examples of what prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell examples are higher organisms higher organisms except these structures clear this much for today's class in the next class we are going to discuss about the various cell components their structure and function in this class we have discussed about the difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell based upon various cell components if you like my videos do share with your friends if you want notes regarding this topics do comment in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel press the bell icon so that you can get all the updates thank you